It is safeguarded by the laws of Moses, affirmed by the words of the prophets, and hallowed by the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Marriage is a union close and enduring, a relationship in which a man and a woman forsake all others to become one flesh. This abiding union illustrates the holy relationship between Christ and his church. Marriage is therefore not to be entered into by any lightly, but reverently, soberly, and in the fear of God. Caleb Dean Williams and Adriana Lynn Davenport. I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that covenant love alone will avail as the foundation of a happy and enduring home. Let Christ, who is loyal to his own unto death, be your example. Let the Apostle Paul be your teacher who wrote, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures. Adrian, will you have Caleb to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him, so long as you both shall live. Who gives Adri to be married to Caleb? We do. Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 through 17. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love which binds them together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Do you know the story in Scripture? about the man who built his house on the rock and the man who built his house on the sand. The storms came, the winds blew, the waters raged. And at the end of the storm, only one was standing. The one that built his house on a firm foundation, on the rock. So I just want to share with you a couple things about this marriage. And as you build your house together, we know that storms are going to come that winds are going to blow, that waters are going to rage. We know that there will be hard times, and we know that there will be troubles. But Jesus said, in this world you will have troubles, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So as you build your house together, first focus on the foundation. Make your foundation in Christ. You will not be moved if your foundation is in Christ. If your foundation is in sand, you will be moved and your house will fall. Always keep before you this foundation. Always keep Christ first and foremost in your life and in your marriage. Second, when you build a house, you use it or you build it using the best qualities you possibly can. We know the fruits of the Spirit love joy peace patience goodness kindness faithfulness gentleness and self-control 
That's how you build a marriage. It's how you strengthen one another. It's how you affirm one another. It's how you connect with one another. Love and joy, peace and patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. If you use these materials to build on this foundation, the waters will come, the storms will rage, the winds will blow, and your house will stand firm. If you're building a house, you need to have plans. You need to know what the plans are and how to use them. Never, never turn your back on Scripture. Never, never turn your back on God. In His Word is all you need to know about love. Because in His Word, He reveals Himself to us as love. The love that He has for us is how you too are able to love one another. So use the best materials that you can. Go over the plans. A husband and a wife, the two becoming one. And then lastly, when you're building, never forget what you are building. Your family and your friends are here to support you. We are here for you. Not just today, but every day. When the waters come, the winds blow, the storms rage, and things look rough, you are never alone. You have God, your foundation. You have the best materials that you could get. You have God's word. You have a plan for your marriage, for your life together. And you have each and every one of us. In days to come, when you're moving, when you need furniture moved or you need help around the house, you'll call a friend, and those friends will be there. But when you're building this house, if you ever need to phone a friend, the people in this room will be there. Sound good? All right. Then let's move forward. Grab your hand. Caleb, repeat after me. I, Caleb. I, Caleb. Take you, Adri. Take you, Adri. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward in plenty and in one, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death us do part. And there too, I pledge you my faith. I pledge you my faith. Did you repeat that? I, Adrian. Take you, Caleb, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part. Us do part. And there too, I pledge you my faith. Can I have the ring? Place the ring on the finger. Repeat after me. This ring. I give you in token and pledge of our constant faith and steadfast love. Adri, repeat after me. This ring I give you in token and pledge of our constant faith and steadfast love. Let us pray. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, 
the author of everlasting life. Send your blessing upon Caleb and Adri, whom we bless in your name, that they, living faithfully together, may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made, and may ever remain in perfect love and peace, and live according to your laws through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Caleb, Caleb and Adri have asked us to pray as well for the family, in whatever form it may take in their future. So let's pray. God, we give you Caleb and Adri. We give you their families. As they form their family together in whatever shape and whatever form it may take, we pray your blessing upon them. We pray your blessing upon the family, that you would be there for them. But Lord, we pray that they would be there for you, that this marriage would glorify you. And this marriage would bring light into people who walk in darkness. We thank you for their relationship. Lord, but first we thank you for their relationship with you. For we know that you here today are with us. That even as they stand together, you stand with your arms around them. So we give them to you. And we praise you for them. In Jesus' name, amen. For as much as Caleb and Adri have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and have pledged their faith each to the other, and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving of the rings, therefore by the authority of me, Granted as a minister of Jesus Christ, I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. Caleb, you may kiss your bride. Woo! benediction and grace, that you may faithfully live together in this life, and in the age to come have life everlasting. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Williams. Woo! 